Rhode Island marked a milestone in its vaccination efforts today, announcing more than 1 million doses have been administered. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. This comes as a new age group becomes eligible to register for appointments. Parents can now register children ages 12 to 15 for appointments at mass vaccination sites. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni is live in studio now with the details on how the state's working to get vaccines to this new age group. Anita. Shannon and Mike, at the very spot, the first vaccine was administered in Rhode Island 150 days ago. State leaders announced the one millionth dose was given out this weekend, and there are no plans on slowing down as a new age group is now eligible to sign up with parental consent. Rhode Island celebrating a monumental moment in the state's battle against COVID-19. Today, we mock one million doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in Rhode Island. So congratulations to everybody. That one millionth dose made it into a Rhode Islander's arm on Sunday. Now those 12 to 15 years old can sign up for a Pfizer two dose vaccine at state run sites with their parents permission on vaccinateri.org. But it doesn't stop there. That also includes schools where we envision children 12 to 15 years of age getting vaccinated most easily with parental consent. Parents and guardians are recommended, but not required, to accompany the young teens at their appointments. They must have a parental consent form. Despite positive studies of the vaccine's effectiveness in adolescents, a recent survey found 25% of parents won't get their children vaccinated. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus says encouragement and incentives is what will help this effort. Hopefully, as parents start to see schools say, hey, you want your child to be in person and be socialized and be with friends, they need to be vaccinated. The parents who do vaccinate in their children say, hey, you can only play around with kids who are also vaccinated. And so hopefully that'll have an effect. Now, all vaccination sites, including those run by cities and towns, are offering Pfizer to 12 to 15 year olds. Moderna and Johnson & Johnson's vaccines are still only available for those 18 plus. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Well, five months after the first shot went into someone's arm, Rhode Island has hit 1 million COVID vaccine doses administered. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo, 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni tells us what the state is doing to keep the vaccinations going. Anita. Shannon and Mike, there are no plans on slowing down after those 1 million doses. Health leaders moving the needle even further as 12 to 15 year olds can now get signed up with parental consent for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. 150 days ago, the first COVID-19 vaccine was administered in Rhode Island. Now this past weekend, 1 million. I don't think anyone would have ever thought that, by, uh, that on December 14th, uh, that um, we would have a million shots in the arms on May 11th. That 1 million broken down means more than 455,000 Rhode Islanders are fully vaccinated. And that number will only go up from here now as 12 to 15 year olds are eligible to get the Pfizer shot at state run sites, signing up with the parent through vaccinateri.org. Pfizer's vaccine was given emergency use authorization by federal regulators Monday for that younger age group. We have seen an increase in our proportion of cases in children. So the timing right now is perfect. Parents and guardians are encouraged, but not required to accompany the young teens at their appointments. A parental consent form though is required. The health department is working with cities and towns to continue offering clinics at schools targeting the newly eligible age group. Moderna and Johnson and Johnson's vaccine are still only available to those 18 plus. This is huge. 1 million doses and we're able to expand to our younger population. Now, DOH says large pharmacy chains will start offering Pfizer's vaccine to 12 to 15 year olds later this week. A study of Pfizer's vaccine with 2,200 adolescent participants showed zero cases of COVID-19 among those fully vaccinated. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.